Hiya, um, here's the quick video I'm going to do on my um, stuff online. So, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video to explain how I got into um, what I do online, which is like the boxing um, Facebook page I've got, and the writing for Ring News 24, and a blog, and loads of other stuff like that. So basically, about three years ago, I was on Facebook, on my like personal Facebook page, and I was... And I can't, I have absolutely no idea why, but a boxing page came up in my home page. And uh, I think it must have been one of my friends who I'd met online, maybe. I literally can't remember, but a Facebook, uh, a boxing thing came up in my page. Maybe it was about Manny Pacquiao, because that was a big thing at the time. So I clicked on the page, and then after that, I thought, oh, boxing on Facebook, this could be quite interesting. So. I think I typed into the search um, field boxing and then I found all these um, boxing pages like HBO I think I chatted on a couple of times until I realized that everyone there was insane so I stopped doing that and a couple of other pages um, then I got chatting on one boxing page with quite a lot of people uh, I won't give the name of it because you know I'm gonna be derogatory towards it so anyway we were chatting on that boxing page for ages and I met loads of people on there and you know we became like friends and so we were always talking boxing and this is the first time I've ever spoken to anyone online about boxing so we're going back to about three years ago and um, then the page that we were talking on became crap Every, um, the person who ran the page started um, banning people and everyone was having their comments deleted and it was all just very you know awful and it was at the time of the um, Pacquiao and Mayweather fight actually being signed. If you remember, it was actually signed for, I think it was signed for the spring of 2010. And then, like, obviously, just, you know, weeks later, it was uh, cancelled. And so you can imagine that was the, that was at the height of the whole Pacroid versus Gayweather um, phenomenon. You know, like, the uh, people online just going at each other endlessly about those two so so you know loads of us bailed out and then anyway then i think i started to message people um like about 50 people on there saying oh can you believe that we've all been banned and can you believe this that and the other and a few people suggested that i create my own facebook page so i said uh well i suppose i could do that but being quite a lazy person i was like oh well, I can't someone else do it and I'll join their page so um, so anyway I did uh, I waited for like weeks and weeks I didn't do it uh, straight away I created a Facebook page um, and because of like being lazy I couldn't even be bothered to come up with a name for it so I asked a few of the guys uh, who I used to talk to on there what they suggested I called it so I was thinking of things like boxing talk the boxing forum the boxing channel whatever and somebody said how about no holds barred and so I thought all right <coughs> I'll call it a no holds barred boxing talk because then it's got the boxing in there um, but Facebook uh, wouldn't allow me to have that as a title so I called myself no holds barred and I've also got a, a Facebook page as opposed to a profile called no holds barred boxing so I've basically got two um, pages on Facebook and that's how that started so quite simply just chatting about boxing and created my own page and I didn't realise it would be quite a success. I thought initially that there would just be the hundred or so people from that other page on my page but before long I had like a hundred people add me in the first day and then every day after that I was getting like 25 ads a day and I had like 5,000 within like a year. Um, and then uh, a friend of mine on there called George introduced me to a forum called BoxingBB.com which I then joined, that was the first forum I've ever chatted on. So I went to BoxingBB and then I discovered uh, RingNews24BoxingForum.com and I chatted on there and my username on both of those is Londoner. And then, uh, and then since then that was basically everything I used to do around boxing was just those like, little things there. And um, since then, I've also created a blog, uh, which I need to start using more often. And about six months ago, I created a YouTube channel because lots of people told me I should join the YouTube boxing community. 
So I did. So now all of my YouTube channels I post on, all YouTube videos I post on my Facebook. But basically, Facebook is still what I do the most. Maybe I should really get away from that and maybe create a website or, you know, use my blog more often or whatever. But to be honest, it was never meant to be created for any sort of monetary gain. It was just created to chat boxing with people on Facebook. But then it... They then asked me to create a page, which I did, and then just through natural processes, you know, it's just carried on, and now I've got a YouTube channel and this, that, and the other. Uh, and now I also like write articles sometimes uh, when I can be asked, and I also interview boxers when I get round to it, uh, and um, do other things for ringnews24.com, and I've written a couple of things for a few other people. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically uh, me. That's how like, I got started with all of this. That's how I then got onto um, uh, YouTube and uh, what lays ahead, I don't know, but I just uh, presume everything will just continue to grow and then I'll see what happens from there. But that's basically my online boxing story. Alright?